WhatsApp, dispatchers, warriors, sailors, and diggers. What's up? Welcome to the April's episode of Pixel News, mostly focused on Easter, as it was present in almost all our games. We hope that you found all the Easter eggs and enjoyed April with Pixel games. And let's take a look at what was it all about. The long-expected XP seasonal contract partner has returned. Yaris came back as part of the Easter event in train station to help you out with leveling up. Accompanied by Esther, contract partner who offered seasonal Easter contracts for all of you. We have not seen Esther for a while, so she was most welcome. Shortened IT routes, new and old trains and all kinds of Easter achievements were part of train station Easter as well. And to make your dispatching and train managing process a lot easier, we hope that you have appreciated a new feature available in train station game now, multiple flag placement. Replacing flags used to be a bit of a pain in the back area, but not anymore. And you're right, there will be more features coming. Aliens, Easter eggs and birthday event. Such a mishmash. Diggy's adventure. As advised earlier, digging through April was filled with the Easter eggs. But there was one type of the Easter egg which we highly do not recommend finding. That's right, it is the one with alien in it. Diggy had to dig through the version of famous spaceship and help the space crew to ensure the survival of human species on Earth. Pretty cool! Previous Easter events were available either for purchase in your shop or for free, because why not? And we got to meet McGainer again! In other world, the new world to be specific, new god has been introduced. His name is Tlaloc and he is pretty badass. But what to expect next month? Diggy will celebrate another birthday, so who knows what gifts and challenges he has prepared for you. And I have a feeling it is going to be spectacular. War in Emporia is finally over. <laughs> April Fools. Mighty warriors of Emporia have conquered their fears in the Arachnophobia event and fought the nasty spiders out of their nests. Brr, got chills just by saying that out loud. The next challenge lies in the Wrath of the Lizard Warchief event, which started by the end of the month. We'll see how many Saurians can Emporians recruit this time. Two game worlds, Hephaestus and Helios, have ended in April. Congratulations to their winners. But what's that rumble? Beware! Hades has opened the gates to his realm and invited the most powerful heroes of all realms to entertain him. The more blood is spilled fighting, the better benefits you earn, and in the end, the ones who survived the last round will be rewarded generously. Are you ready to fight for your honor? And now let's join the tea party with Thomas Lipton in Seaport. We drank so much tea during the whole April. I see chamomile everywhere. That is my favorite one. I'm sorry. We were traveling back in time to Ceylon with Thomas Lipton and James Taylor, where the whole story of Lipton's tea begins. You can actually read more about the history of this story in our blog. But let's get to the more interesting part of this news. In May, we will start a new adventure, an event full of mysteries. Prepare your sails for the strong winds of the North Atlantic Ocean. We need to inspect the case of a lost ship, Carol A. Deering. Lawrence Ritchie is our main investigator and he will need our help. Bermuda Triangle can be super dangerous and we ain't kidding! Also, get ready for a new feature of looking for the ship parts. New things on the horizon! Summer is gonna be very hot! We hope that you did not become a victim of a cruel April Fool's prank. But in case you did, let us know what it was. And what are the Easter traditions in your country? Do you eat potato salad with a ham? Anyway, we are looking forward to new episode already. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And do not forget to follow us on our social media channels. The links can be found in the description below. And we'll see you guys next month. Ciao! Ciao.